Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. Hey, we're at the abode. We're in my office right now. You got Aaron with Alliday LLC. Many people have been inquiring, hey, is there something wrong? Uh, uh, are you not doing radio? Blah, blah, blah. No, I'm still doing the AM news thing. However, our host with the most, Dennis the Romeo. Dennis Romeo has been ill, uh, and, and they haven't had a host for the show to fill in. So it's been a little difficult for the, the show to go on, and they've been running some uh, uh, tape delays of, or not tape delays, but some old uh, country music shows, uh, uh, country music, and classic country music. Boy, did I hear some great songs that uh, took me back to when I was 9 and 10 years old, running around the back 40 with pops and uh, uh, chasing horses and whatnot. Hey, some crazy, crazy, crazy stuff going on in property preservation, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, if you have financial crimes, if you have violent crimes, you can become a member of NAMFS. And that is not the National Association for Mortgage Field Services. It is the Nepotonistic Association of Management for Stealing, supervised by the one, the only, Mr. Eric Miller. Hey, he should be knighted or something. This guy supervises more crime on a daily basis than they could have written into any script for Tony Soprano. Uh, uh, he's worse than the Bonanno brothers because he thinks he's doing it legally. He's supervising crime and everybody underneath him, like Michael Breeze up there in Minnesota, writing bad checks on a bad bank account. Get a load of this, ladies and gentlemen. This guy gets a bank account for his business. The address is a vacant lot. A vacant lot! Are you kidding me? Mr. Miller, I want an interview. Bet attorney generals. Bet law enforcement. Bet district attorneys. Read my blog. Bet they read Paul Williams' blog. You think we're out here hanging in the wind, blowing hot air, dude? You bumped your frickin' head. You got another thing coming. You and Shillery Clinsanto belong in the cell right next to each other, bumping uglies, because you guys are one of a kind. Hey, not only that, but down in North Carolina, you got a couple of people down there with financial crimes. They have violent crimes perpetrated against people. And oh, guess what? They're stealing money from labor. All those stories on foreclosurepedia.org, ladies and gentlemen. You're up to the minute, and I do mean up to the minute, property preservation industry news that you can use and abuse. Yes, indeed, on Foreclosurepedia, ladies and gentlemen, and I don't know how this stuff goes on on a daily basis. How do you demand somebody pay 85 65 whatever it is, dollars for a background check, and then you have people like Joseph Hummel, Yes, that's right. The Hummel effect, right? Fiduciary crimes, writing financial policy for companies. It's against the law, especially for a nonprofit organization such as the National, or excuse me, the Nepotonistic Association of Management for Stealing. How many crimes have to be perpetrated against labor before labor stands up. Another company, Edgemark, is in the news also. I've been getting a lot of reports that they're stealing from labor again. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, if somebody owes you money, get a hold of Zeeling. Get a hold of Scott Wolf over at Zeeling. Tell him Aaron said to get a hold of you. He'll help you out. He'll get you on the right track. They'll work with you guys. Trust me on this. They'll work with you guys. Here in Nevada, our state legislature, they just passed some laws that got teeth in them, put some legislation through. That BS lien waiver on the work orders is just that, ladies and gentlemen. It is BS. Cannot waive a lien in Nevada. Cannot be forced to waive your lien rights in Nevada. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It's that way almost everywhere you go. Maine, Minnesota, all these places, they're, 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 how these guys get licenses, they just, I, I'm just, as you can tell, it ties me up and I'm speechless, ladies and gentlemen, I'm speechless, I am just baffled at how this happens time and time and time and time again, but yet, the guy that has a brush in his hand going to scrub 
poop out of a commode has to pass a background check. I'm sorry, I don't get it. I do not get it. I do not understand how Eric Miller can look at himself in the mirror every day knowing that he has green-lighted people like Heather Berghorst to steal money from you. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Just like Shillery Clinsanto lying to our faces, they're stealing money from you. Let that sink in for a minute, ladies and gentlemen. They are stealing money from you. On a lighter note, tune in tomorrow or maybe even later today. I might put a little video together. I don't know. But tune into the blog for some information. Uh, www.allidayllc.com. you got some property preservation information that I can use or maybe we can assist you, point you in the right direction to collecting your monies and the monies you're owed. And oh, by the way, when you write Scott Wolf and you describe your problem, CC your local district attorney, CC your state attorney general, and find out if the company that cheated you out of your money has a business license in your state. If they don't, they have committed numerous crimes. And trust me when I say the attorney generals and the tax departments are going to go after them for you. They will. They will. Just take my word for it. And you got nothing to lose. CC attorney generals, CC district attorneys, CC attorneys, law enforcement, whoever you need to, to get their attention to show that the Nepotonistic Association of Management for Stealing has robbed you. That I say in jest, ladies and gentlemen, you know I do. National Association of Mortgage Field Services, Executive Director Eric Miller. That's who you want to attack. Make sure you say in there, CC Eric Miller so he knows and make that man an accomplice. Everything I do, make him an accomplice. Once he has knowledge, he can't say he doesn't know anymore, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the way it is. Hey, I got some more news coming out on the GMO front. Very, 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 very disturbing news. But we're going to get to that. This is for property preservation. Perhaps in a couple hours, I'll have uh, uh, some more information in on that. If not, check in. We might be on the air tomorrow. I don't know how, how ill Dennis is yet. I haven't got an update on him. Uh, uh, we do wish him the best, Dennis. Uh, uh, we miss you, dude. Hope you're doing okay. And, and everybody out there from AM News that uh, uh, tunes in to listen to, to my GMO or the Property Preservation Report, this is my Property Preservation Report. And if I can, like I said, I'm going to try... I'll get into, a, 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 try to do another little video this afternoon with a GMO update and just how bad are your cornflakes, ladies and gentlemen? Just how bad are your cornflakes? Are you feeding toxic cereal to your children? Huh? I don't know. I don't eat them. If it has Kellogg's, Post, General Mills, chances are GMO products, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, until next time, happy gardening. Let's have a great day. Let's all be safe out there.